Alrighty, hello everyone, it's Silver Kyle here, and today I would like to talk about the fourth entry into the Super Smash Bros. series, which is coming out next year for the Wii U and 3DS. But before I get into anything, I would just like to state that I love the Super Smash Bros. series. It is my favorite fighting series of all time. There is nothing that even comes close to it. Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, Super Smash Bros. is right here, everything else is down here. I love that series. That is my kind of fighting game, and I don't even know how many hours I have put into that series, especially the one on 64. And ever since the 64 one came out, the first one came out, I was like, I want to play this on a handheld. At the time, I think it was Game Boy Color that was around. It wasn't the Game Boy Advance, I don't think. And, and I knew that we couldn't play it on that because it, was, it, it just wouldn't be capable of doing it. But in the future, I wanted to play it on a handheld. And lo and behold, next year, we are finally gonna be able to do that with the 3DS. Having said that though, I recently watched a video from Alpha Omega Sin and he brought to the attention that the new Super Smash Bros, which is coming out next year uh, for both systems, uh, Wii U and 3DS, is not going to have cutscenes. And the reason behind this is because the creator has said, you can only truly wow a player the first time that he sees a cutscene. I felt if players saw the cutscenes outside of the game, they would have they would no longer serve as rewards for playing the game, so I've decided against them. <coughs> douchebag, a douchebag, douchebag. I don't like doing rants. It's it's not. I've been doing a few more uh, over the last few months, and I don't like saying negative things about people. But it's just lately I've been reading things about companies or people like like represent big companies and are in big positions, and they say these horrible things, and I'm like. Why are you saying that? Do you not understand how the internet works? It's 2013. Wow. So his reasoning is that because some people watched others play Brawl, uh, you know, on YouTube, on Let's Plays, and he's like, okay, well, you some people saw saw Brawl and they saw the cutscenes there. Therefore, I am going to punish everybody that buys this game and say, we're not getting cutscenes. Because he thinks that everybody that is going to get the Wii U and 3DS game, they were, we were all gonna watch the cutscenes first on a Let's Play, before we bought the game ourselves and beat the game ourselves. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So that means that the 11 point whatever million people that bought Brawl, they apparently all watched the Let's Play of it beforehand. Well, if that's the case, is that really a negative thing? that all these people watched the Let's Play first and then bought your game, probably at like the $60 price or whatever it retailed at. I don't know if it was a 50 or 60, I'm believing 60 because Nintendo games never go down in price. And that means 11 million people bought your game. It was the best selling, you know, Super Smash Bros. game. If anything, if this, if, if his ridiculous uh, thinking is that everybody that bought the game first watched the cutscenes first online, but then later bought the game, and it was the, your most successful Super Smash Brothers game, is that not a good thing? It was free advertising, dude. If, that, if that's how his mind works, that he thinks that everybody that bought the game first watched it online and they bought it afterwards, that's not a bad thing. That, there's, no, there's no way in hell that that happened. There's no way that the 11 million people that bought Brawl first watched it online before playing the game themselves. Like. You, you're not that stupid. I know you're not that stupid. It's really, he's just against Let's Players. And I can understand that you know you, you put time and effort into a game and then it kind of gets leaked online. It doesn't get leaked online. People that love your game, they, they put a Let's Play of it because that they enjoy it so much and they appreciate it so much and they want to show their love for it by showing everyone else. And that is what you call advertising. Nintendo spends millions of dollars advertising games. And here you have the best place to do it. Instead of putting it on TV where you're not sure what the demographic is, sure, you kind of know an idea of what kind of people, what their age group is that is watching a TV show, but you don't know if they play video games. Same thing for if you put it on YouTube and you put in advertising. Yeah, if you have video game related videos, you have it. But if you have a let's play of a game specifically, and you have millions of people that are subscribed to this let's player and they see this let's player playing a game, they're like, Holy crap, Nintendo Capri Sun, he's playing, you know, the new Super Smash Brothers. That looks freaking awesome. I'm gonna go get that game. Chugga Conray's playing it, Tabuscus, you know, PewDiePie, anybody, any one of those people that is playing this game and that has 
thousands, maybe even million subscribers, and they see them play that game, and you don't have the game yet, you might go out and buy it just because that Let's Player is getting it. Instead of seeing just a, a, a 30 second advertising, you know, showing a few highlights of a game. I, I see a highlight of a game, and like, depending if, if I know it or not, if it's 30 seconds, maybe a minute. And that is not enough. If you see an entire Let's Play, that's completely different. So I don't understand what he's thinking here. Uh, it's really just Nintendo's agenda against Let's Players. Like the, the, earlier this year, uh, they were banning not banning, but they were taking the uh, revenue uh, from everyone that was doing Let's Plays, which kind of doesn't make sense and defeats the purpose because some people were doing it because it, it, it's how they earn their living. And to an extent, yeah, th that is partially Nintendo's right to have that content, but it's free advertising. For the little bit of money that those Let's Players were making, you probably made millions of dollars from certain of their games uh, that they were you're promoting, basically, for free for not free, but they weren't charging Nintendo. They were charging like AdSense. It, it's completely different. So I'm kind of upset that this is happening. I'm hoping that a lot more people bring attention to this and that we do get cutscenes. That Nintendo sees that there's a huge uproar once again. It's been happening a lot lately where people are getting together and they voice their concerns. Uh, I just saw lightning. It distracted me. Uh, they're voicing their concerns. That's how angry I am. I am causing thunder and lightning outside. That's what's going on. Um, did you hear that? Eh? Eh? <laughs> Perfect timing. Thank you. I don't know if you heard it. I, I, it, it was kind of low. Anyway, my goodness. Um, I just <laughs> completely lost my train of thought now. Thank you. Um, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, the, the, Everybody uh, saying their opinions eventually gets Nintendo to think, okay, you know, they're very upset that we don't have cutscenes, we're going to bring them back together. Because, honestly, that's one of the coolest things about Super Smash Bros. is that you have all these Nintendo series getting together, and I want to see how they're going to play out. I want to see the little storyline. You don't necessarily need it for a fighting game, but it is an additional thing that I like to see, and I think a lot of people like to see. Some people, they just want to play the game themselves. That's fine. They can press the skip button. That is fine. But you do not punish people that have maybe, most most likely, none of them have seen the cutscenes beforehand uh, for, for these Let's Plays. You don't punish them for buying a game and, and the, there is also another place that they can go watch. Does that mean that all the people that, you know, make movies and uh, music, they're going to stop producing this stuff because some people pirate that? I don't think so. <laughs> so anyway, you've been Bearded and thanks for watching everyone and I'll talk to you all later next time. Beard Edge!